Indian Oil Youth Council is a program of Delta Health Alliance, and we have generous funding from a few different sources, including the U.S. Department of Education, U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, and U.S. Department of Agriculture. Um, and so we do greatly appreciate that support. The Indianola Youth Council is filled with young scholars who have a desire to make their community better in all aspects. To Tyron Boyd, it means enhancing the confidence and boosting the self-esteem of society and so much more. It means that I'm trying to go the extra mile. Sometimes you have a lot of people who talk about doing this and that but have no not trying to get anything done and I think if you're I'm taking the initiative to try to get something completed by joining the Indianola uh, Council. The organization is promoting loving yourself with their self-care and toy drive that is aimed at collecting personal items like body wash, mask, socks, and other relatively new and unopened items that may be needed throughout the community to aid in personal care. Taking care of yourself emotionally, mentally, physically, and just all above because if you don't take care of yourself, you can't take care of anyone else. The council will be accepting donations at several locations in Indianola and they're urging the community to come out and support. Even if you don't have a partner, you can still love yourself because you love yourself before you have a partner which is something that's essential in a relationship. Self-love of yourself builds a strong and foundational relationship. So even if you don't have a partner, when you start to love yourself, you can cultivate relationships, even friendships. What is self-care? This is what it means to Tamariana Clark. Self-care to me, to me means taking care of yourself mentally, physically, and just overall, just loving yourself and not just demoting yourself to what society wants you to be and just being yourself truly. The council will be taking donations throughout the month of February in Indianola. Andronita Williams, The Delta News.